So what guys, what can you guys tell us about what's coming up the rest of the season? Excitement. Crazy. <laughs> Daring do. Daring do. <laughs> Intrigue. Intrigue. <laughs> Mystery. Is Violence. that, is, is that uh, detail no. enough? Uh, <laughs> I tell you, one of the things I think is cool is that this dome becomes such a, you know, it becomes an interesting part of the show. It's a big character, you know? And it allows us all to try to, we all got to figure out where we stand with the dome almost in a way and how it affects is it on your side is it not on your side it, it, it takes on a real important character uh, in, in amongst all of us you know so that's what I think is, is what's coming up <laughs> and I think they've done a great job also just real quickly of, of initially starting out on the characters um, you know because that dome is nothing if you don't care about the people that are already in the town so so we kind of solidify those things and then introduce yet another character in the dome and it just it kind of amplifies the impact of that is it coincidence that you are in two shows dealing with um, metamphetamines metamphetamines <laughs> well you know that's not that's that's not uh, meth's not going to be an issue in Under the dome. Okay. So there's some drug issues, but it won't be much. Okay. So, but uh, he likes to branch out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so Hank wouldn't. He like to sell other Hank wouldn't love that under the dome. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta hedge your bets. Yeah. <laughs> And how do you like being on the other side of the wall in this show? Oh, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of fun being. Being, being bad is a little more, more than fun than being good. <laughs> you start to see the, the later episodes, you'll see just how much fun he's having. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. So how is it for you to be on such a show that is such, you know, suspenseful as a viewer? You know, going back after working on it and watching yeah. it with the family group. Yeah. yeah, it's great, you know, and uh, we're a little bit closer to it, so... But even even though, I even then, I forget about certain things when I'm watching it. Oh, wow, that was cool. I didn't forget about that, so... Uh, but it's cool. It's good to watch it with... Uh, I, I like watching shows in real time, you know? I like to watch it on the Monday night it's supposed to be on, or the Sunday night it's supposed to be on. And, uh, so... You teased about the tricks. Uh, have you learned anything from Walter White for, for this role? <laughs> oh, well, maybe I have, but I can't tell you. <laughs> How would you describe what each of your characters is going to go through? Like, if you just, I know you can't give details, but thematically, what would you say is, is up for each one of you? Uh, I think Barbie, you know, Barbie's journey, at least for this year, is going to be to navigate. Um, You know, a lot of a lot of accusations and a lot of uh, sort of stories that are fabricated and partially true that have that have uh, happened to him and around him, and um, he's going to have to sort of navigate that line between uh, a reluctant reluctant hero. I don't even like to use that word, but um, and and yet a lot of these charges accusing him of, of uh, pretty nefarious things. Uh, and I think people are going to have to choose between uh, who they think this guy really is. Uh, With some of your dark secrets will be revealed, especially the ones uh, concerning Julia. I, I think what we'll see is um, eventually there's only there's only so many lies you can tell, and uh, there's only so much wiggle room. So uh, you know, eventually things come to light. In this season already? I don't know. <laughs> And then for each of you, <laughs> um, well, certainly, certainly enough comes to light to make to make Julia's life really complicated. <laughs> um, I think, you know, especially for Julia, being a journalist and and the kind of journalist that she is, I think she's a person who has. Um, in order to simplify, I think, her own emotional life, sees the world in kind of black and white. Like, there are either good people or bad people, and people do the right thing or they do the wrong thing. And as a result, has a lot of expectations about, you know, um, about who people are from their first encounter. And she f starts to find out with Barbie, with Big Jim, with learning about, she, you know, things are revealed about her husband and her husband's past. And she starts to find out that that just isn't true and that good people are capable of bad things and bad people are capable of some good things. Um, and that you just can't, you just can't know and you just have to keep trusting your gut. Uh, and, and that's something that I think is new for her because um, she doesn't like to live in the, doesn't like to live in the muck. She likes to live in places where things are really 
cut and dry. And, um, and so it's forcing her to open up in, in ways that I, I think are good for her, but challenging. Cool. I think, uh, you know, I think uh, for Big Jim, this uh, dome coming down is, is he sees it as an opportunity where everybody else sees it as a crisis, you know? <laughs> and he sees it as a chance to to kind of uh, become what he's maybe secretly always wanted to become in a way as, uh, as a dictator. Right? <laughs> he's the king level. of the realm. Yeah. So <laughs> it's, uh, he has an eye, because I can't wait. Yeah, so he... Um, he doesn't see it as a, as an, you know, he sees it as something that, oh my God. And I think that we'll find that maybe the dome is affecting us, I don't know, or something. But, you know, once you start going down that line, that road of megalomania, it's, uh, it, you know, you can do a lot of bad things. And there's no checks. There's no checks and balances in the dome anymore, you know. Whereas before that always had been. And now it's like, oh, wow. it's whoever has, you know, the most guns or ends or something. To a certain extent. Mm -hmm. What are some of your current favorite TV shows? What do you like to watch? I like uh, I like Key and Peele, which is kind of the show you guys might know there. Uh, actually, uh, I, I like Bill Marshall. Uh, I like Breaking Bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. What is that? Uh, I'm a huge fan of the Newsroom. Really happy that's back. Uh, Game of Thrones. I was sad to see that go. And uh, The Daily Show, John Stewart and Stephen Colbert. Um, sort of my go-to unwind. Kind of is my excuse to get the news, but not really. <laughs> I like Backyardigans and uh, Dora <laughs> and the Mickey Mouse Club. Yeah, SpongeBob. That's it. I've got I've got little kids, so that's all. If I if I'm watching TV, that's that's what's on the house. So you saw Monsters University on opening I night. I saw right? Monsters <laughs> University. Fantastic. That's fantastic. Fantastic. And the fantastic. The front is very awesome. Yes, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. And I, I actually use it. I use it as a. Uh, I have a, my youngest is actually a little a kind of a little tyrant in the most affectionate way. And I, so I, I threaten her every time with uh, I'll act like my phone my phone rings, and uh, and uh, and I'm like oh hi it's, it's Monsters University honey they want to give you a scholarship are you <laughs> no no you won't even talk to them no it's good you're a good actor so it works that's so right. it comes in handy she never believes she me. believes they're on she the doesn't phone doesn't believe me no <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's where it fails favorite Stephen King novel or adaptation. Uh, I, 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 uh, Other than Under the Dome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, Shawshank Redemption is one of my favorite all time movies. So that alone is good. You know. I'd yeah. like to give you some variety, but it's mine too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a great thing. Yeah, it's hard to beat that. It's right? hard to beat that. Yeah. 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 Will season one end on a cliffhanger? Can you tell us that? Or will there be some kind of resolution? I, well, it, it'll end on, it'll, it'll, there'll be some sort, there'll be some, there'll be a lot of answers, but it'll definitely end in a way that would have you go, damn, when's it coming back? Yeah. Yeah. I think that's a fair way to say it. It's going to be overly graphic, but as I say, like when you're a TV series, you want to be, you want to be a good lover. You want to leave your audience satisfied, but wanting more. <laughs> <laughs> she is French. She is, I'm she's French. Canadian. I can't. Help it. Canadian. <laughs> That's what we think about. <laughs> Uh, you know, for me, it was just such a different role than, than I've been playing. It was just a, it, it was just almost like teed up to be because it was so different. Not only the character was so different, but the, the type of show. You know, being this big, large, side, epic kind of, you know, large ideas kind of show. So um, that's really what we were doing. Have you guys said answer the same thing as well? Um, I mean, I have a. Not that we should all have all the same answers. Like we're, we've been working together too long, clearly. And have, but um, but definitely that you know the people involved um, is is was sort of the number one thing. That you see those names, you see Stephen King, Stephen Spielberg, and you go, oh, this is something that I really want to do. Um, and then and then I think you have to find a role that speaks to you. For 
me, I always look at, is this a character that I feel like I can explore over the course of many seasons, if need be? You know, is this something that I feel has um, has depths worth mining? Uh, and I do feel like our writers really succeeded in creating that world and in taking Stephen's world and putting it in a medium that, you know, could continue longer than the book does. Um, and, and I was convinced. I was sold. Uh, uh, for me, um, you know, the second her, her notion of, of uh, you know, a character that speaks to you, um, you know, I come from a, from a special forces family. A lot of my dearest friends are there, and I, I have a bit of a chip on my shoulder uh, as to how Hollywood a lot of time writes military characters and they, they Hollywoodize them and so for me it was just a kind of an opportunity that whenever we could bring those elements into the show to keep it true to form to who these guys are and certainly you win some of those battles you lose some of those battles um, but as much as I could honor those guys and, and keep it uh, keep it real and keep it honest that's what I want. <laughs>